Hey everyone, so as you can see by the title of this video, this is a showcase video with showcasing a bank that I made, a Minecraft redstone working bank that I made on my Minecraft world on Xbox. So, but before I get to that, I just wanna, just wanna mention some other stuff before that. So, as you can see, this is my whole activated door. I made a tutorial on this a couple weeks ago, and I just wanted to uh, let you guys know that I made a much smaller version over here this is the original one as you can see there's a lot of open space it's not very compact in my video I said it was compact but it really isn't it's small but it can be smaller so this is the version right here as you can see there's not a lot of space other than this one block right here I can do a tutorial on this if you want me to but I don't think it's really necessary because this one works just as fine if you want a tutorial just let me know in the comments and I'll make it alright so to the bank so this is my original bank it's not very good, not very effective. It's just you put in a code, so let's see. One, four, five. The door would open. You'd have other combinations. So let's see. One, three, six is bills, I guess you could say. So, sorry. One, three, six. And this door would open. Sorry, that's not a three, that's a five. As the door would open, you'd go down here, you'd have a chest full of whatever. You can close it from down here. You can have up to, I don't know, 15 combinations, as many as you want, I guess. But <clears throat> it's not very effective, because I realized if you use try to use this on a real, like, world or whatever server, people could just walk in and see your combination. Um, the way it works is there's this little memory type thing, memory unit type thing, where... Um, you would put in the number and it would turn off a repeater because it would be an inverter right here, torches. And it would turn it off. And if you put in all three numbers correctly, it would turn everything off. And this would go on and would open the door. And if you put in the wrong code, it would turn on a torch because it's an inverter, right? So, so if you put in a repeater into a block, then the torch on the other side just turn on. Or sorry, if the repeater's off, this is on. And it would still turn everything off, so it wouldn't work. So that's how this works. But it's not very good, again, as I said, because you can't really use this in the real world. So I made this. I made Bank 2.0. So you, this is how it works. You go in here, you close this door so others can't go in. And you can have up to 20. Actually, as many as you want, really. But after 20, it kind of starts to lag. So you can have up to 20 codes. I have four here right now. So I'll put in one. Sorry, so um, as I was saying, you can put in one code and a cart would come. You can put in, and then right away, the code would, you put in a code and then automatically reset. So you can put any code after that without having to press anything. So here, I'll show you guys how it works. So I'll put in the first code. So the first code is 3478. So it works just like a normal dial pad, like a phone. So three four seven eight and this block goes up if you put in the correct combination and the cart will be here but in about 10 seconds so here it is open it there's iron in there just hit this button and it goes back when this torch tor torch turns on again then it's safe to put in a new code because you don't want two cars colliding because it's kind of one rail back there. So, wait, wait, wait. There, it's on again. Now we can put in a second code, 1569. So, 1569. So, it goes up, correct code. Now let's wait for this torch, or sorry, cart to get here. Look at the pictures for. I'm sorry guys, my camera keeps uh, messing up. Anyway, so as I was saying, this cart gets here, it has sticky pistons, the last one had iron, and I'll do it one more time, just to show you that you can do it as many times as you want, and it's going to be a different cart every time, because cause it's a bank, right? And you can, each person can have their own cart and deposit stuff in it. So, you can wait, okay. Next code would be 2379, so, 23... Seven nine, so correct code. Wait for that cart to get here. Look at the pictures for now. 
Is that tuna fish? Oh, so here's the cart. This one has gold. And the last one has diamond in it, but I won't, I won't show you. This erase feature is here in case you put in like uh, 156, or sorry, yeah, 156, 8 instead of 9. As you can see, this doesn't go up because it's a wrong code. And you can just erase it. So anyway, so I'm going to exit and show you the redstone now. Now this door would always be open so that um, you can't like lock it and then leave or whatever. Anyway, or lock it from the outside. So here's the redstone. It's kind of big as you can see. It's, it's big, but it's not as complicated as it looks. Trust me, it just isn't. I didn't do a very good job in compacting this because I've never really made anything big like this. It's it's just one basic concept, these things, and a lot of redstone wiring because I need to get it to um, all the way here. This is the memory unit, same one that I used over there. And um, it leads into these cart rails, which I'll explain later. So, um, here. So, I'll explain how all of this works. So. What I wanted to do was make a button work as a lever, and I'm not sure what that's called. I know there's a technical term for it, but I can't really remember what it is right now. So, just like that. And I want it to go forever, so I'll just have it going into this little thing. I'm not sure what it's called. Anyway, so, as you can see, it goes forever when I hit this button. And you can substitute the redstone, sorry, one of the redstones for a grass block, or not a grass block, just any block, really. And it works just like redstone, it'll keep going. And to turn it off, you just, you just use a sticky piston, so it's always going to be on. And it goes into something like this, where there's like a button. And it turns it off. It's not a button, it, it turns it off for good, it's a lever. Not a lever, it's just it's redstone, but I'm just doing this to explain how this works. So each button would be a number, and it goes into nine of these, because there's nine numbers. Right, and each, and the output of this, so this is where it goes in, there's an input. And, so this is... So you hit the button, this will turn off, it's going to turn on, it's going to go forever. Which would lead it out to this output over here. It's, it's kind of difficult following these lines because there's so many of them. It's going to go all the way down here. Down, over, or sorry, under, into this. This is a number. They're not ordered correctly because I, I just messed up there. It's like 8 here and what is this, 7... This would be six, and that's a coincidence. They're not usually ordered normally. Yeah, one. So yeah, it goes into a number, and the erase button. It take makes the piston go on and off again, so then it no longer is spinning in a circle, because the signal is cut off. So that's how that works, and so if you put in the correct codes, sorry. If you put in the correct uh, numbers, it's going to turn off the repeaters where it needs to, just like the other one does. And it goes into this little thing. It's an inverter which goes into this uh, minecart station. So this is just one of them. So this one is the gold one. I think that's the 2379 one. Maybe, maybe not, but... So this is how this works. It goes down, this little spirally thing, and it goes over this detector rail so I'll get the detector rail a little later it goes over all of these rails and goes out to the carryout right here this place the port or whatever you want to call it and when it's on its way back it t goes down this rail or whatever so when it goes down this spirally thing it goes over this detector rail which goes into this and I don't want to bore you guys with technical terms, but it goes into a uh, T flip flop right here. So when this turns on, so here I'll show you, I'll turn it on. 
this turns off and it turns the rail over here into here so that when it goes over on the way back it turns into here so when it goes down it makes it go so it makes it the rail turn into the way that it's supposed to so that one goes back it goes into the proper one let me just change this back um, so and when it goes back and it turns in here it goes over another de detector rail right here which goes into the other side of the T flip flop and turns it back normally so the way it's supposed to be so it keep going forward and it's the same thing for all of them so that that's this is the way that the minecart knows goes into the correct place or port or whatever and it's just really big because there's a lot of redstone wiring that needs to go into here I mean it can be smaller but it's smaller than some of the ones I've seen online because they use other methods a little more complicated types I saw this one guy who did it really neat but huge you know what I mean like a lot of blocks wide and a lot of blocks long so this is what it looks like bank 2.0 I it's my whole world right here uh, thanks for watching if you want that uh, smaller whole door tutorial just leave it in the comments leave a like and uh, thanks for watching